I'm Pia Sinaroy with Entertainment Weekly at Comic-Con 2018. We are live with the cast of The Darkest Minds on Facebook, so please send us your questions. Hi, everybody. Hello. How's it going? Good. Good. Well, we have questions for you, lots and lots of questions. But first of all, how's Comic-Con going? Everyone good? good? Well, so you're feeling good? good yeah. Excited? Day three, you're all... Keeping up with excellent. So, um, one of the most interesting things I found about The Darkest Minds, which I've, I've been lucky enough to get an early look at, is um, it, how timely it feels. And I just wondered if you might be able to say how you feel it resonates in today's real world. It's funny because when we wrote the script, and certainly based off the book, this was science fiction. You know, a lot of things that are happening on the news now, it wasn't something that we were making up or intending in any way. Mm -hmm. But I think the idea of how young people can actually come together and find their voice so that they can affect their own lives in a positive way, that empowering message, I think is very, very timely for us now. Yeah. Um, Alexandra, Alex, hi. hi. Uh, you wrote this incredible book and this whole series for you, um, what did you envision when it came to uh, seeing it on the big screen? And then what did you two both talk about in adapting it? And were there any parts of the book that proved to be a bit of a challenge on conveying on the big screen? That's a good question, because I'm curious to hear your, the answer to the last part, what the most challenging scene was that you had to adapt from the book. Because there are certainly things I can do on the page that I can like write out this elaborate action yeah. scene, and it's nothing. But then when it comes to filming it, it's two weeks worth of filming or you know something like that but it's been amazing to watch the process of this getting adapted I have loved working with everybody I felt so heard by you and you have taken so much time to explain the whole process to me so I feel like my role is mostly number one cheerleader which is a good role for me <laughs> I've cheered a lot yeah really <laughs> number one I'm like yeah um, so, Amanla, for you, what did you really love about your character and, and sort of what she brings to this story? She's such an interesting dichotomy, I feel. Yeah, I think dichotomy is a really good word. Um, I love I that. I try. I try to get the good <laughs> You words killed that, that vocab. <laughs> um, I think what's so cool about her story arc is she has this amazing ability that she's terrified of because she knows that it has the power to harm people. Mm -hmm. And it becomes her responsibility to figure out how to wield it correctly in order to use it against systems that she doesn't believe in. So mm -hmm. I think that's also really relevant. Yeah, I think so too. You three sitting in the corner over there, very quietly. <laughs> <laughs> I would, uh, I'd love to know what it was like just coming up with the dynamic of your characters because you guys looked like you had a really nice bond. Yeah. They hate each we, other, we if you do. couldn't tell. Um, but we're yeah. complete em enemies. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, we had to you all hate each other, I feel this. And then you was obviously like... We don't get introduced until like a bit later in the film. So there's something that like merges at a certain point. And then we all, I feel like each character is th finding a sense of like family and friendship and love. In their own like learning way, to learning other. to trust yeah. each other in this very uncertain world. That's a big so, lesson. Like, yeah, yeah, man. And to second that motion, um, <laughs> just like a lot of it was like, um, just being together on our own first, mm -hmm. and that was a lot of like rehearsing, a lot of rehearsing, rehearsal. Or he made us laugh every time. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> the occasional. You can rely on Chubbs to get you that know, humor in there. He just he just comes through. He comes, comes through. through. He That's comes always through. good. Um, well, we have a question from Mariana Perez Gonzalez, who's asking, "What was the hardest part to film?" Ooh, for me, it was like the really dramatic scenes when, like, I had to be really emotional, like, because my character doesn't talk. She doesn't talk. So you're right. it was hard to like be able to like get myself to a place where I could like just cry mm -hmm. without actually having to say anything. Mm -hmm. So that was, <laughs> yeah. it. that was yeah. fun. Yeah. Yeah. That was Big facts. It was fun impressive. and challenging at the same time. Mm -hmm. yeah. I would say um, probably kind of like the finale of the film. I won't spoil too much, but there are fireballs and things falling from the sky. <laughs> uh, and I think probably something challenging about that was just trying to perform kind of actually re like reactions that would feel based mm -hmm. in reality but weren't too subtle and like finding that balance when you mm -hmm. don't actually know yet what you're reacting to is kind of challenging. Okay. 
You guys? Yeah, for me, um, I say the finale part. Like, yeah, there was so much going on that gets CGI'd or you see later mm-hmm. on, um, and just being really focused in that moment on it and everyone in it, the the elements that are real in it. Mm. Um, so trying to go between the two, but yeah, the finale's crazy. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty cool, explosive. Yeah. Explosive. Yeah. Oh, Other fantastic vocab. I mean, listen, I know words. <laughs> <laughs> um, Amala, so this is your, this is one of two movies coming out that you're in, uh, both very different, but also very similar themes of resistance. Uh, I was lucky enough to get an early look at The Hate You Give as well. Um, obviously, both being adapted from books. Uh, how do you feel about being part of both of these stories, and, and what do you feel about the message that your, your characters are? both putting out into the world um yeah i mean i have the the blessing of being a part of projects that i feel like are relevant and timely and have something to say Mm -hmm. um i think the darkest minds is more of a fun ride um i mean it's yeah it's it's, a little lighter it's a little lighter in tone (laughs) yeah i mean there's there's and there's joy in the hate you give as well but the the messages are of that film are just so Time it's about Black Lives Matter, and so it's mm-hmm. it's so timely and still so fresh, and I think we're still grieving mm-hmm. that it the movie kind of pummels you <laughs> a little bit and, yeah, and still leaves you still leaves watch. you with hope, but yeah. but definitely pummels you a bit. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. I feel I feel like film is one of the most powerful mediums in terms of inciting empathy in people and getting them to understand mm-hmm. um, different dynamics and and understand how societies are structured. So mm-hmm. I hope that it's able to make people feel less alone and it's also able to make people who don't understand understand sure uh well i know alexandra you've got the sixth book in the series coming out next week the darkest legacy is that correct yeah it comes out on the 31st okay so i imagine this is we're gonna hopefully be seeing a lot more of you guys i can't wait thank you so much for joining us thank Thank you you guys for joining us have a great comic-con thank you